What is up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, uh, last time I unboxed a G10 Wraith from EPS Knives. This time I have a box from Maxace and this contains a very exciting balisong uh, that they told me about. I've yet to actually flip it at all, which is uh, exciting. Brandon got to give it a bit of a whirl and uh, his impressions were exciting to me, but I have yet to actually flip this bad boy. So let's just crack right into it. So inside of here is another piece of paper that looks exactly like the box. Big shocker. Um, and then there's some Chinese written on it. That's going to be helpful for me, I think. <laughs> um, you know, I, I that'll, that'll do me great. Um, you know, I gotta say the Maxace unboxing experience in general is very good. So this is a microfiber cloth, and then you have all of these extras. So this is extras of basically everything on the knife, including bushings. So you've got new bushings, new hardware for basically everything you could think of. This is a very, very, very good um, setup. This is this is really awesome, honestly. I love seeing that. Okay, so then we have the uh, trainer blade which is neat. I, I think the uh, trainer blade is a little bit of a weird design, but it is still uh, nice that they include that. And finally, we have the Balisong itself. This is the brand new Serpent Striker. And it's very exciting to me because the original Serpent Striker was one of my favorite budget Balisongs of the time. And something that you'll notice about this Serpent Striker pretty quickly is that it is entirely made of titanium now. The original Serpent Striker was made of uh, stainless steel liners, which was fine, like they, they did a fine job. But this new one has titanium liners, and you can tell because they are now anodized a nice gold color. And I'm assuming they'll come in other colors as well, but yeah, this is a gorgeous balisong. The other thing to know uh, is that this is now on bushings instead of bearings. The original Serpent Striker was on bearings, and this one is on bushings. Now, the first thing I notice is that the blade profile is different, and I really like this recurve, like, quasi-harpoon sort of shape. This is really beautiful. It's like a recurve buoy mixed with a harpoon um, with this tang here. This is really, really neat. Uh, I very much like the designs that Maxace does for their uh, blades, and this is honestly probably top tier in my opinion. That is a very beautiful blade. I'm also certain it is razor freaking sharp because Maxace's stuff always comes razor sharp out of the factory. Um, wow, that is gorgeous. Uh, it is 14C28N. I have no idea. If that is a good or bad steel, I'm going to assume that it's a good steel. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that is very different. Oh, that is very different. Interesting. Okay, so it's... Let's, let's break down some specs here. It's got titanium liners. Uh, I believe these weights in here are also titanium, though I would need a magnet to actually... 100% uh, be able to tell that. Um, and then uh, the liners, or the scales themselves, are G10. And this is really nice G10. Like, this is super high quality G10. Honestly, even the G10 of the Wraith isn't as nice as this G10 on the uh, Serpent Striker V2. And that is very impressive to me. I really like good G10, and this is really well done G10. Like, you don't need to modify that whatsoever. Um, Brandon has a, uh, oh, I forget what ballast song it is, but it's, it's, is it the Banshee? I think Brandon has a Banshee. And that thing, the G10 on it came out of the box so rough, and Brandon had to sand it to make it feel better. And this, this feels amazing. This is like really, really, really nice, soft feeling G10 right out of the box. Now, the first thing that I'm noticing is that I'm actually not a big fan of the latch. Um, it's a good enough latch design-wise. I believe it is titanium as well, so it's going to be pretty light, but it's very basic and it does flop around and get in the way. I don't think it can flop low enough. No, it cannot flop low enough that it'll hit the blade, so that's good at least. But 
That's just a floppy, that's just a floppy latch. So I'm really not, not impressed by that, unfortunately. Um, I'm definitely gonna be removing that, which I think I said the same thing about the original Scorpius, so that's not gonna be a surprise to anybody. Um, but yeah, that's a very mid latch. I'm probably also gonna be removing the pocket clip. It's too bad that it comes with the pocket clip installed out of the box as well as this latch because I dislike both the latch and the pocket clip. Not super great. Um, the bushings are pretty good out of the box. I haven't flipped this yet, as I said, and it has minimal play, though it does have some play. So it's not like a absolutely no play out of the box kind of ballast song, but to be fair, it's also cheaper than a lot of ballast songs, and it is very high quality materials. As I was talking about with the Wraith, you know, uh, it's nice to see more sandwich construction, titanium, and G10 style ballast songs. And so this is very exciting for that reason. I think this is a very fantastic ballast song um, because it is just, you know, one of the more underappreciated styles of construction. Um, I really do like the fact that they're using the hidden Zen pins. As you can see, there's no Zen pin screws, so I love that. I love not having to worry about Zen pin screws. Um, I really do like the blade shape. The tang is very nice. So this is the kind of thing I was talking about with the uh, with the wraith. The wraith is nice, but uh, there's a couple things here. First of all, these wings um, or horns, as they're called, can pinch you if your finger gets stuck there. Like they they can do that. I haven't been pinched by it, but that's also because I'm partially used to how uh, knives with horns work. And um, so it's not a problem for me, but I, I could see someone getting pinched by that if they were new to flipping knives with horns. However, the main thing that is definitely a pinch junction is going to be uh, this bad boy right here. Like, that that just has the potential to really pinch the shit out of you, and this one doesn't. Um, another thing, too, as I said, is that this one needed a little bit of rounding, like a bit of a chamfer around the nipple area, and you can see they actually did that on this balisong. It is very nicely rounded and chamfered in that area and so I really do like to see that. I am very interested to keep playing with this Serpent Striker. First of all, I love that it comes in pink. Like that's that's awesome. That's a great choice for the colorway. Uh, I'm sure there's a few other color options. I'm assuming red and black is going to be one of them, but pink is a... I'm, I'm a big fan of pink uh, already and the fact that this just comes in pink is beautiful. So yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the new Serpent Striker, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming this. I don't know if they're calling it the Serpent Striker Two or if they're just calling it the Serpent Striker now. Like if they're just pretending the first one didn't happen. It just says Maxa Serpent Striker, MS MSS three hundred four. Um, there you go. I, I I they're just calling it the Serpent Striker, so I don't think they're calling it the Serpent Striker Two or anything like that. This is just the new version of the Serpent Striker. So this is what the Serpent Striker is now. And honestly, the having it not be on uh, bearings, I love that it's on bushings. The bushings feel really nice. You know, it's got a little bit of play, though I'm gonna play with tuning it and seeing if I can uh, fix that or if it just needs to be a little bit tighter or if it's something else entirely and maybe I will have, you know, worse tuning issues in the near future. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll definitely update that whenever we make a full review of this product, but, you know, as I flipped it, I think it's gotten even a little bit looser, so I really genuinely think it might be that it just needs to be tightened, and I don't have a screwdriver down here with me right now, but I will uh, I will test that, and I will figure out that kind of stuff um, before I make the full review. One other thing is that it actually appears that this knife might be T8 all the way down, and if that is the case, I would really, really like that. You know, a T8 isn't my favorite. I would prefer if it was T10 all the way down. However, just having something that is entirely one screw size for the entire balisong is freaking fantastic. I love uh, it when people have balisongs that are just entirely one size of screw, and that's all you need, and then you can just use one screwdriver to take the whole thing apart, and you'll be fine. Um, Man, I really gotta say, the actual action and, like, the flipping of this balisong is really nice. Like, it feels great to flip. It is, uh, really good. I, I think it's gonna feel really, really, really good once I take off the, uh, these bad boys. Like, I, I, I just don't like this latch whatsoever. It's so floppy. Um, 
and uh, I think I think we get rid of that pocket clip, and suddenly I think we're gonna have a very very nice flipper on our hands, and I and I can tell just immediately that it has a lightness to it that is kind of being ruined by the latch. And so I think by removing that latch and removing the pocket clip, we will unlock a weirdly light balisong, whereas the, the G10 Wraith, I wouldn't call it super light. Like, it's definitely a lighter balisong, but it, it's not like, it doesn't feel extremely light. Whereas this one in my hand, as I start to flip it, it feels like it might actually feel somewhat adjacent to some of the newer squid balisongs that are in the lighter category. And I think that might have something to do with the fact that the construction itself isn't that different than the original, but the original was made of stainless steel. And so having one made of titanium, which has a substantially lower density than stainless steel, I think you're going to find a very big difference in the way that it flips. And I think it's going to be much lighter and much more agile and just in general a very nice flipper, whereas the other one I wouldn't say it was a super nice experience to flip. So, yeah. That is the uh, brand new Maxace Serpent Striker. Uh, I want to call it the Serpent Striker 2, but I think it's just called the Serpent Striker. I don't know. I'll talk to Maxace about that before I release the, uh, the big review for this guy. But yeah, that's the new Maxace. I, I can't tell if it's getting looser or if it's just been this loose the whole time. And I can't tell if it sounds bad or if that's the latch that's flopping around the entire time. That's really annoying to me, actually. Um, I think it may have blade rub already, though. Oh, well, okay, no blade rub in that direction. What about this direction? No, okay, no blade rub. That's good. So, at, at least there isn't blade rub right now. Um... But the fact that the latch does that, I'm just, I'm really not a fan. I, I, I talked about how good the latch was on this guy, and honestly, the funny part is that I compared how good this latch is to how good some of Maxace's latches are, and honestly, this is not one of the good Maxace latches. This is, you know, it, it is functional and well-made, but I wouldn't call it good in terms of, like, a latch that makes me want to keep it on the Balasong. I'm going to remove this latch basically immediately after I go back home and so, <laughs> I, uh, not, not too impressed about that, but there is a lot more to love about this thing than just the fact that it has a bad latch. Uh, honestly, it's, it's very impressive to me the fact that it has better feeling G10 out of the box than this guy. Like, that's really interesting. This feels really nice to flip. This, uh, this, I don't know what the final price of this thing is, but if it is sub $200, uh, that would be very, very impressive. And honestly, from me, if, if this Balasong is somehow sub $200, uh, that would be an instantaneous, like, go buy it now kind of thing, I think. I don't, don't take my word on that just yet. I'll probably make an updated video uh, on this channel talking more about it. And then I will also make uh, a full review for the main channel talking about this Balasong as well. But uh, yeah, that is... That's a very interesting balisong. I really do enjoy this thing. Huh. What a knife. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these couple of unboxings the past few days. Um, I think these are both really incredible knives, and I'm excited to continue uh, playing with them and learning a little bit more about them, especially this Maxace one. I am more impressed than I thought I would be with it. I, I really am kind of taken aback at how nice it kind of just feels to flip. It just feels really good kind of immediately. <laughs> and uh, the grip all around is also very good because obviously it's sandwich construction and G10 and like, I don't know, if you, if you, you, you kind of can't get much better grip than sandwich construction G10. I'm, I'm just, that's just the truth. Um, damn. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it for the moment. I appreciate everybody for hanging out and watching and uh, enjoying my content on this channel. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really glad that I have this as, an, as a way to kind of like make a quicker video about a balisong. You know, I can just like show you the balisong and, you know, talk about it instead of having to make a whole large edited thing about it just to even show you that I have it, you know, I can at least show you guys, oh, look, this just arrived in the mail, and here are my initial thoughts on it. Um, and my initial thoughts are that I'm pretty freaking impressed. So yeah, I like the box. The box is definitely uh, not the 
prettiest designed thing I've ever seen. The the color selection is strange, being this like gray and then yellow and then blue. I, I do like the yellow. I don't know how the blue works with the yellow and the gray is a strange choice as well. And then the logo and the font, they're all just, they're all choices that I don't know if I would have made, especially with a, you've got a serif font on the front and then a sans serif font on the side which is weird, The and then you've got a sans serif font for the main Max Ace Knives logo, and then here's the actual logo, which is embossed, which looks very nice, but then this weird M doesn't really match the serif font of everything else, and so it doesn't, like, work properly, in my opinion, and also this M doesn't really match, like, the logo for Max Ace, so it just looks kind of incongruent. These lines over here don't really do anything like they're just kind of there they don't really go anywhere and they don't really start anywhere and so they feel out of place the iconography here this is fine like it's just it's just stuff against a gray background but just i don't know this feels confused i i i know i'm just like riffing on the strange design of their box now but i don't know it just feels it feels a little confused but yeah, that has been the Max Ace Serpent Striker. I hope you guys enjoyed my little first look at this wonderful little morsel. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the moment. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.